How's it going, boys and girls? We hope that you guys had the best Easter possible. And whether that was Easter egg hunts at your grandparents' house, at your house, or if you went to Neosho's uh, Easter egg hunt that Miss Judy put on for you guys, we hope you guys had a blast. But this has been a strange Easter, if you can agree with me on that, probably. But that doesn't change the reason we celebrate Easter, the empty tomb. And so Zach and I, we were thinking about our favorite Easter moments, and we're gonna share them with you now. Hey guys, so we've been talking about some interesting Easter stories, so I have one for you. Uh, when I was younger, we went to my grandparents' house, and uh, we were finding eggs, my sister and I were, and uh, we didn't know the house too great, so we went down into a closet, and uh, little did we know that there were some toys in there that we were gonna get later, and so we kinda just went along with it, cause we didn't know what else to do, so we closed that closet door, and we kept on you know, finding the eggs and whatnot, and later on that day, we found out that those were actually the toys that we were gonna get for that Easter, and so we got a little surprise before we got the actual surprise, so we had to kinda come up with how we were gonna act surprised again. And so with that, we're going to go back to Evan. One of my favorite Easter moments was growing up back home. My children's minister always put on an Easter egg hunt on Sunday morning. And so this Easter, he decided to hide some pretty big prizes, whether that was a dollar, $20, oh goodness, a big Hershey bar of candy. And he went into the gym that we had and hit them all over the place. And he said that you guys, there are some pretty major prizes in these Easter eggs. And so all you have to do is go and look and if you find those prizes, you get to keep them. And so we all thought that was a pretty great idea. So there was probably 75 of us running in the gym looking for all these candies all these Easter eggs and finally we got all the Easter eggs that we could and we started opening it and then all of a sudden the kids started opening them and they're to their surprise some of them got a dollar some of them got a, a big Hershey's bar of chocolate and then finally I got to my Easter egg and there was 20 whole dollars in the Easter egg and I was so excited I had 20 dollars and that was a pretty sweet Easter and so so just imagine with me that you get your Easter eggs on Easter morning and you go through them and you open them and all of a sudden you get to one and it's empty. And that's not how it's supposed to be at all. It's supposed to have Twix, Reese's, Hershey's. It's supposed to have something in it. And we would be pretty disappointed if we got to the Easter eggs and there was nothing in it. But here's the thing. Easter isn't about the candy that we get. It's about an empty tomb. And here's the thing, tombs weren't supposed to be empty either. They were supposed to have something or someone inside of them. But when Mary Magdalene went to the tomb that Easter Sunday, she found an empty tomb. And boys and girls, Easter isn't about the candy that we get or the love of candy. It's celebrating the empty tomb and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And to help us remember that, here's Zach to reread a little bit of our story that we read. Hey guys, so uh, welcome back. Our Bible story today is from Matthew 28, 1 through 10. So I'm going to read that for you guys. And it says, The Sabbath day was now over. It was the dawn on the first day of the week. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a powerful earthquake, and an angel of the Lord came down from heaven. And the angel went to the tomb, and he rolled back the stone and sat on it. His body shone like lightning, his clothes were as white as snow, and the guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He's not here. He has risen, and just as he said he would. Come and see the place where he is lying. Go quickly. The, tell the disciples he has risen from the dead. He is going ahead of you now into Galilee, and there you will see him. And now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb where they were afraid, and they were filled with joy. They ran to tell the disciples, and suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to, came to him, took a hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Once again, we hope you guys had a great Easter weekend. And we hope that you guys continue to tell people about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But right now, I'm going to go back to my office. And so we will see you Sunday for a finale of Breaking News. So we'll see you later.